fellow Kenyans, starting today and now, hereby declare the official start of a countrywide mass action for the following reasons. Number one, the high cost of living in Kenya, which is as a result of massive looting of the public resources and heartless withdrawal of subsidies to food, fuel, and education by the Kenya Kwanza regime in the middle of a drought and economic meltdown. To lower the cost of living and to restore the dignity of our people Mr. Ruto must go. Number two, the overtaxation by this illegitimate regime is killing our businesses, impoverizing families, and damaging opportunities for investments. This must immediately stop for Kenya to economically recover. For this reason, Mr. Ruto must go. Three, three, the importation of genetically modified organisms, GMOs, by Ruto and company is a scheme to destroy the country's food basket and to make Kenyan slaves to the American nationals while enriching his cronies. For this reason, Russo must go. Four. Four, the attempt by Kenya Kwanza regime to single-handedly reconstitute the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission by forming a William Ruto Electoral Commission is a reckless misadventure that is intended to wreck the, this country. The IBC selection panel is a puppet of Ruto of Mr. Ruto clique that intends to create seven Chebukatis who will aim, who will aid him in steering the 2027 general elections. For this reason, Ruto must go. The victimization of commissioners Masit, Chereira, Nyangaya, and Wanderi for standing with the truth against Chebukati and his cabal in an electoral theft and their removal from office through a kangaroo, a kangaroo tribunal was actually meant to create a, a William Ruto IBC. For this reason, Ruto must go. Seven, the contempt with which the Supreme Court treated the Azimio One Kenya presidential petition is the epitome of judiciary, the judicial thuggery. From the judge's subservient and unprofessional, physically biased remarks and the recent public dalliance with Ruto, the Supreme Court judges confirm Ruto's complete judicial capture. For this reason, Ruto must go. Eight. 
aid the accumulation of all powers, legislative, executive, and judiciary by Ruto, the perfect definition of tyranny and dictatorship. Ruto is buying the legislature, influencing the Supreme Court, and the sole executive decision maker. This is a dangerous dictator that must not be allowed even a single extra minute in public office. For this reason, Ruto must go. Nine, in the history of Kenya, it is the first time our country is facing a two-tribe regime. An exclusive one-tribe regime in Rwanda resulted with genocide. In 2007-08, the security forces were unable to control the violence in the Rift Valley simply because of a one-sided security force. Kenya Kwanzaa is a one-sided illegitimate regime that is planting seeds of ethnic hegemony for a future genocide in Kenya. Only two communities are getting appointed to public uh, service. For this reason, Russo must be. Ten, the creation of unnecessary and unconstitutional offices in the public service, including those of their spouses, daughters, and sons, at the expense of an already overburdened public and an empty exchequer. It's a cruel ploy by Ruto to reward his cronies as he continues to loot the public resources through proxies. For this reason, Ruto must go. Eleven, Kenya experienced unparalleled religious harmony, which is the envy of the world. The attempt by Ruto to divide this country along religious and sectarian lines must stop. For this reason, Ruto must go. Twelve, the tribalization and ethnicization of our civil service by this legitimate regime through targeted sucking and firing of legitimate public appointments is a career killer and a recipe for future genocide. For this reason, Thirteen, even though the case was stopped, the murder of the ICC witnesses did not and cannot relieve anyone of responsibility for crimes against humanity. We know only too well what Ruto is capable of doing. Kenyans will never forget the painful murder of Yebei, Gicheru, and the burning of innocent children and women in a church in, in, in Kiamba. Neither will we forget the deaths of Msando, Jacob Juma, Kenei, and others. For this reason, <laughs> 14, the grabbing of public land in Rwai, section of Ngong Forest, Part of Eldred Municipality, part of Langata Primary, Mr. Muteshi's farm, and many other public utilities can no longer be tolerated by Kenyans. And for this reason, Ruto must go! Ruto must go! Ruto must go! 15. According to the public records, Mr. Gachagua, who was the District Officer 1, in Laikipia was summary, summarily dismissed from office on the 30th of July, 1997 for gross misconduct, desertion of duty, and reported mismanagement of relief food for Laikipia district. 
This is a clear show of unsuitability and incompetency. No wonder Gachagua has impudently alluded that Kenya is a company with shareholders whose resources are distributed discriminately on the basis of shares. Today, we begin telling Ruto and Gachagua that we indeed are the true shareholders of, in this country. <laughs> All the people of Kenya are collectively shareholders in our country. We begin telling Ruto and Gachagua that we understand that a caring government cannot emerge from an illegitimate regime like Kenya Kwanza. We begin telling Ruto and Gachagua that we have no more patience with an illegitimate regime that is too mean-spirited and too incompetent to deploy resources for an all-out all war on poverty and suffering of our people. If we have no more patience for the an illegitimate regime of hypocrites and fake humanitarianism. We begin telling Ruto and Gachagua that we can't keep living on false promises. We begin telling Ruto and Gachagua our clear understanding that when we keep taking painkillers long enough, they will cease killing the pain. And that, that is when the real pain will begin. Kenya is ripe for a people's movement for the defense of democracy. And the process begins today, here and now. Ruto must go. We launch a campaign of defense of peaceful picketing, peaceful protests, boycotts, strikes, disobedience, peaceful petitions, peaceful sit-ins, and peaceful demonstrations, and it begins today and now. We also urge the victims of retrogressive policies of this illegitimate regime, including workers, doctors, teachers, nurses, lecturers, students, and the business community to join this political revolution and movement for change. We are stronger together. As your leaders, we commit to fight, resist, and defy this legitimate regime side by side with you until our voices are heard and respected. We recognize that only through hardship and sacrifice can our cries be heard and acted on. We will be with you to the bitter end. It is action time. Let us all come out, whether we are, to, uh, we, we are we, wherever we are, to make our voices heard and respected. And after we have done that, that we, wherever we are, in every corner of the country, we shall finally converge in Nairobi. <laughs> Take note that on, on the 20th of March 2023, you have a date with destiny in Nairobi. I repeat, take note that on 20th March of 2023, we have a date with destiny in Nairobi. <laughs> on, on that day, our supporters throughout the country shall stage a massive procession in Nairobi for a legitimate and inclusive government. Save that date. We thank you and let the action begin. The movement, the movement for the defense of democracy has now started.
Asante. 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 You may be seated. Let's go. Nimesema yale kwa kimombo lakini kwa manufaa ya watu wetu wengine ungependa kusema machache kwa Kiswahili. Kwanza tume toa taarifa mrefu juu ya hali ya taifa letu vilivyo siku ya leo. Tumesema kuna uzuni katika taifa letu. Kwa Kenya wengi wanashikia ugumu. Gharama ya maisha imepanda. Wiki mbili iliyopita sisi tulitoa taarifa tukampatia bwana Naruto na serikali yake ilani ya kwamba tungependa kuona baada ya siku 14 gharama ya maisha ikiteremka chini bei ya bidhaa muhimu ikiteremka chini. Tukasema vile vile tumemwambia jamaa asimamishe kuteuliwa kwa wanachama wa tume ya uchaguzi kabla watu wajeshauriana tatu tukasema tungependa ile nyungu pale ambayo matokeo ya kura ilipelekwa ifunguliwe ili fanyiwe ukaguzi ijuli ukweli ijulikane wiki mbili imepita na jamaa hawajafanya chochote wamekita na wamekaa ngumu wamekaa fanya chochote kwa hivyo tumesema wakati sasa imepita kwa hivyo tumesema kuanzia siku ya leo tunaanza sasa kipindi kipya ya ukombozi tunaanza ile chama chetu ya ukombozi serikali wanaweza kufanya maandamano wanaweza kufanya mgomo wanaweza vile vile kukaa pamoja na vile vile kupeleka kumbukumbu kwa shirika lolote hayo yote yanakubaliwa na sherehe yetu katiba letu vile vile nasema ati uwezo katika jamhuri ya Kenya iko mikononi ya wananchi wa Kenya wananchi wanaweza kutumia hiyo uwezo wao wenyewe au wanaweza kutumia hiyo kupitia kwa viongozi ambao wao wenyewe wamechagua sasa kwa sababu bwana Ruto amejaribu kununua viongozi wengine na vile vile amejaribu kununua mahakama sasa ni saa ya wakenya kutumia hiyo uwezo na nguvu kupitia hiyo fungu la katiba yao mikono mwao ili waweze kuleta mabadiliko na tumesema hiyo ndio sisi tutafuata wakenya kuanzia leo watagoma watafanya maandamano watamungana pamoja kwa njia ya kutatu, uh, mabadiliko katika taifa letu na haya yote yatakuwa ni njia ya halali watu wataweza kumgoma na kufanya maandamano wengine wanaweza kwenda kwa vitio vya serikali wanaweza kwenda hata kwa ajili ya nyumba ya, ya serikali ni nyumba ya nyumba ya, ya taifa ya, ya wananchi wanaweza vile vile kuungana uh, pamoja na kukaa uh, pamoja na kugoma wanaweza kugoma wasiende kwa kazi bila wanavyotaka wanaweza kufanya maandamano wanaweza kufanya maandamano kwa kote pale wao wako kazi ya serikali ni ya polisi ni kulinda wananchi wakifanya hayo mradi tu polisi wajue ya kwamba wananchi watafanya maandamano kazi yao ni kulinda wananchi sio kunyanyasa wananchi na sisi vile vile tumesema hatuna uoga wowote hatuwezi kutishwa na mtu yeyote tutalinda sheria na katiba ya taifa letu dhidi ya wale ambaye walikuwa wamewekwa pale kwa njia ya kibandia tuna hakika ya kwamba Ruto na wenzake hawakushinda uchaguzi katika taifa letu sisi kama wanazimio 
tunajua matokeo ya uchaguzi sasa kwa sababu jamaa wamekataa ukaguzi wa nyungu ile pale matokeo yalipelekwa wa Kenya wana uwezo na sasa watatumia hiyo uwezo kufanya yale ambayo wanataka kwa hivyo tunasema kazi mnaanza leo wa Kenya sasa wako tayari na wamepewa fursa ya kufanya yale yote ambayo nimesimetaja alafu mwisho tumesema ati tuko na dira na tarehe ishirini na ya mwezi huu wa machi tuheshimu mwezi huu wa machi wa Kenya ambao wanafuata azimio na hii chama ya kulinda demokrasia katika taifa letu watakuja Nairobi ni siku ya Nairobi watakuja Nairobi na kutakuwa na maandamano makubwa hapa katika taifa la Nchimuja Nairobi kutaka serikali ambayo itaweza kulinda haki yao na, na sheria zao na kuhakikisha kwamba wake wa Kenya wote wanapata yale ambayo wanataka kuhakikisha kwamba gharama ya maisha itarudi chini wa Kenya bani wagonjwa wataweza kupata matibabu kwa njia sawa sawa vile vile wale watoto wetu ambao wanataka kusoma watapata fursa ya kusoma vile tuliwaahidia Mwisema vile vile wale ambaye wanatafuta kazi watapata kazi. Wale wa mama ambaye ni wajane hawana mabwana na wana watoto watapata msaada. maskini tuliwaahidi ati watapata alafu sita hiyo vile vile itakuweko sasa watasaidiwa sisi zote kama wanaazimio tunasimama imara pamoja nimeleta vile vile salamu kwa wakenya wote kutoka kwa rais mtaafu uhuru kinyata sisi hatutaki kuona kama wakenya wanateseka wanashika wako chaguliwa kwa njia halali sasa kwa hivyo hayo yote tunasema azimio iko mbele sasa movement for uh, for defense of democracy inaanza kufanya kazi kwanza siku ya leo asanteni sana leo ni leo